true. B, look at what I'm doing, B. Get him. Get Mally. Get Mally. Mally. Malachi. Come here, Malachi. Get him. Get him. Get him, B. B. <laughs> Malachi. Mally. <laughs> Come here. Hey, look, I got Malachi. I got Malachi. Can you sit yet? Oh, yeah. Can you sit, sit. Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy. He's cute. He's super cool. Malachi, how old is he? Yeah. He's about 10 weeks, right? About 10 weeks. Uh, I think he's a happy dog. He's an extremely happy dog. <laughs> and he, uh, yeah, these two, these two are hilarious. B likes it because he doesn't really have to chase him far because he's, he, he's, Malachi will come to him. But he is, he is so good with the puppy. And I think he, I think, I think he might boost Malachi's confidence a little too much. He's so submissive to him. I've got him a big giant pillow in his kennel. So it's like, so it's like a nest now because it burrows. So he gets in the nest and lays on his back and wallows and makes oink noises. It kills me. I, I can't sleep at night from laughing. All right, Queenie, come on, show your stuff, girl. She's got a smile on her face and she's already using her nose. That tail's a wagon. She's investigating by sticking her head in the boxes. And she got it. If you notice when she had her head this way, she quickly turned that way because she found it. Good girl, good girl, Queenie, good job. Treat never comes from your hand. It always goes directly into the box so the dog knows where to look. Good job, fantastic. All gone. You got it, yeah. Good job, Queenie. And come on, Queenie. Here she comes running, she's excited. She's using her sniffer. She's tasting the air too. She's huffing a little bit. You can see that she's bringing in the air and processing it. And it's very important just to follow her around, let her figure it out. You're doing a great job just standing there, letting her do her own thing. And it's really important not to talk to your dog Good girl, Queenie, yay! Not to talk to your dog until they found the treat. You don't want to confuse them. All right, good girl. She's all excited, coming on down. It's very important in the handling, which is being done perfectly, that you keep the leash nice and loose, and bingo, she's found it already. Good girl. You can see she's very eager when she comes up. You can see the excitement in her eyes, her ears are up, her tail is a nice, happy, excited wag. So she is definitely enjoying this. And this gives dogs a sense of purpose too. It's making them work and they love it. The mental stimulation is wonderful for them. If dogs don't get enough mental stimulation, they become very destructive. My name is Wayne. This is my dog, Queenie. Queen, Queen. Um, I had her for about 10 months, nine and a half months now. She's close to being two years old. She's between 20 and 22 months. She's a very, Queen, Queen. She's a very athletic dog. She's very obedient. She uh, catches the frisbee very well, and she does agility training very well. She does well, but you have to introduce her to the dogs. You just can't let her loose soon as you meet, soon as the dogs meet each other, because you can see right now how she's playing, which is very. We introduced her to Shady for about over a three-day period, 
and now you can let her off the leash and play around with her. But she's not the type of dog you just walk in the yard and let her off. You introduce them to them first, and then after that, she this will be your results. <laughs> When you have your bad days, which everybody have, you can always go to your dog and come out here and play. So once you come out here and play with the dog, you about forget about what you was upset about 10 minutes. They look at you when they know something is wrong. And then once you start playing and interacting with them, it's, it just goes to normal. Queenie helped me a lot because this is the only dog I've been on since I've been here. She haven't got adopted, so we're trying to get her adopted. So between her and reading the Bible, keep some spirits up. Would Queenie be good for you? Um, Personally, I think she'd be good for anybody that's very athletic, that want to get outdoors because she's a very athletic dog, or anybody that's into any kind of competition or training, because she loves the agility. She does that on point. She loves anything dealing with outdoors, as far as frisbees or the ball. She fetches the ball and re retrieves it and brings it back to you. So anybody that's athletic and want to be outdoors and play around and enjoy the outdoors, I think she'd be fine for. I'm gonna try to do training on dogs because it came so naturally to me, but I didn't even have a dog at home. So I don't know where it came from. So working with her made me realize I'm gonna try to do some of the courses that they have online and see where that takes me far as, see what I can do far as obedience training on outdoors. I was kind of concerned when I was here in August when they bring BB in, cause I thought we wasn't qualified to bring BB back to normal state. And when I seen the transformation of it, that's really made me feel happy because I was like, well, if you can do that to a dog, then you never know what the abilities you have because Ronnie was barely, well, wasn't walking at all. And then we had another couple of dogs, Bo over there. He looks very healthy right now, but Bo was looking kind of skittish when he came in. And right now, Bo is very fine. And we have one that um, just came in, I guess about a week ago, and I'm anxious to see what his results will be. I think they call him Horse. Um, he's kind of scary of everybody right now, but he only been here a week. So I'm trying to see what he's going to look like in about two or three weeks. She, uh, she does well, but you have to introduce her to the dogs. You just can't let her loose soon as, you meet, soon as the dogs meet each other. Cause you can see right now how she's playing, which is very, we introduced her to Shady for about over a three day period. And now you can let her off the leash and play around with her. But she's not the type of dog you just walk in the yard and let her off. You introduce them to them first. And then after that, she, this will be your results. <laughs> Queenie helped me a lot because this is the only dog I've been on since I've been here. She haven't got adopted, so we're trying to get her adopted. So between her and reading the Bible, keep some spirits up. This is Haas. I've been with him for a couple of days. I'm uh, his second day. And, um, you know, he's, he's a work in progress. Uh, her, when he first came in, he's really scared, very wary. And uh, now he's getting to the point where, you know, he's starting to trust people more. And, uh, Starting to set, you know, what's going on, and as you can see, he's just sitting down. Usually, he'll run around, and you know, well, we know that he has bloodhound in him. He's a part bloodhound, so you know, he's 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 a very special dog. I wanted to be in the jail dog program to uh, help give these dogs a second chance. You know, like as like us as inmates, we as well need a second chance, but as animals as well, they're like family and they're just like human beings and they need a second chance as well. So I felt it would be a good, you know, a good deed on my part and uh, something, you know, to help these animals out. To Haas, you had to talk to him in a sweet, you know, nice, kind, you know, gentle demeanor. You know, kind of pet his mane a little bit and be like, hey Haas, how's everything going? Doing good? Yeah, you're doing good. You know, you just gotta, you gotta talk to them very lovingly, you know. I, I prefer dogs over most animals. They say dogs are a man's best friend. And you ask me, it's really true. Like, being a dog owner of five dogs makes you feel like, you know, you have a, a beautiful family, you know. Y'all all family together, you treat them just, just like if he's your own or she's your own. My days have been going by faster but that's not what I'm looking for here, you know? Looking really, you know, more towards just helping the dogs. I mean, I'm, I'm in jail already, so regardless if it's the jail dogs or, you know, sitting in the tower, time's gonna go by the same, so I'd rather be doing something productive. Um, hi, my name is Levise Wright, and I'm here with Atlas, big baby Atlas. Sit. I consider him like my little brother. 
Because that's what he acts like. He, when he want attention, he come beg for it. When he want to go outside and play, he'll let you know. You got to take him out to go to the bathroom, things of that nature. Down. Uh-uh. Sit. Down. Down. Uh-uh. Down. Relax. Good boy. Up. At first, it was it was a, the thought of teaching him a new trick. It was pretty much trial and error, trial and error. And I, and I really didn't like the trial and error. I get frustrated and I just be like, I don't want to do it no more. But I learned the more you put in time with the dog and the more you go through trial and error, it's helping the dog learn what he's supposed to be learning. Being in the dog pod, it really does help you pass time. And it really has made me actually a better person because when I first came in here, I was kind of shy, my self-esteem was kind of low. Working with Atlas, I, I, sit, sit, sit. Working with Atlas, I mean, it, show, it showed me you got, you got to stand up. You really got to take charge. You got to make the dog know what, he want, what you want him to do. I, you know what I'm saying? You got to teach him all these tricks. You got to learn patience. That's, that was the one thing I didn't have when I came in here. And now that I've been working with Atlas, I develop a sense of patience. This is Precious. Uh, came in, she was really shy. Um, I, I don't know if she had been mistreated or what, but she was real, real um, on edge with everybody. But now she's really opened up. Uh, they think she's about two to, between two and three years old. Um, they're saying that she did have a litter, but just as sweet as she can be. She gets along with, with the bigger dogs and the smaller dogs. We let them play out here without leashes. Uh, she's not aggressive at all. She don't, she, she don't have that much energy, so she'll be a great little puppy for somebody and a great little lap dog. You know, it's no telling what these dogs have been through. And, um, of course, we all like to be loved. And, and um, you know, she just, I, we see it every day. And if they spend time with them, I mean, she's wonderful with me. Came in, she was really shy. Um, I, I don't know if she had been mistreated or what, but she was real, real um, on edge with everybody. But now she's really opened up. Uh, they think she's about two to, between two and three years old. Um, they're saying that she did have a litter, but just as sweet as she can be. She gets along with, with the bigger dogs and the smaller dogs. We let them play out here without leashes. Uh, she's not aggressive at all. She don't, she, she don't have that much energy, so she'll be a great little puppy for somebody and, and a great little lap dog. Well, being here in this uh, program has helped me with my patience, and, um, which I've always had a problem with. But um, just having her 24-7 has gave us, a, you know, just a good companion. You know, jail's jail, but when you have a good companion, you know, um, a dog gives you unconditional love, and it just not, it's good that, that she's with me. This is my dog, Tank. Oh, he's a very sweet dog. He's a store for attention. He's very happy. He's very happy. He's took over my room, so he's... <laughs> First I was uh, second on Chico, and then Maddie, and then I was on Norton for a while, and now I've got Tank. I, I think they should be doing this all over the country. You know, it's, like I said, it's Operation Second Chance, you know, it gives the dogs a second chance, plus it gives us a second chance, you know, to, to learn something. And Myself, I've got a dog at home that's totally unruly, and now I know what to do with him. You know, it's, it's not his fault, it's been my fault, you know, it's because I didn't know how to train him. It's teaching responsibility, plus, you know, it's um, marketable skills. Maybe the CGC, the K-9 Good Citizen, that maybe I could put it to use when I get out to maybe nursing homes or kids with special needs or something to, to get a dog that's real gentle to, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of kids, a lot of people in nursing homes that don't have a chance to pet a dog. You know, animals are great therapy. A lot of kids, a lot of people in nursing homes that don't have a chance to pet a dog. You know, animals are great therapy. My mother happens to be in a nursing home and there's a girl that comes from, um, from the Hall County Humane Society that brings a dog there every so often. <clears throat> and I think it's a great, great program. They just don't have enough volunteers to do it. I 
Uh, her name is Kiki. She's a pit bull. She loves to be pet, of course, and fed treats. And um, she's a social bunny. So, I love dogs. Absolutely. My sanity. Can you sit for me? Can you sit? Can you sit? Uh -uh. Can you sit? Good girl. Good sit. Dogs use you because like when you're ever upset or something or not having a good day, they always know what to do. They rather cuddle with you and you know, they like to be pet. And it's just, they read emotions, you know? Dogs teach me basically to, to, to take the joys in life and um, basically never take anything for granted. You know, because not everything's handed to you. I think this program should be in jails everywhere because I believe every dog deserves a second chance. You know, I don't think any dog should be mistreated. It gives the inmates a second chance because it shows how, how much, you know, um, can't, I mean, when you're not only caring for yourself and you're caring for something else, you know, it, it brings more to life. You know, it makes you understand, you know, not only am I focused on myself, but I'm focused on someone else that maybe messed up or didn't have exactly the best chance. My name's Chris Tufts, and I am a part of the Jail Dogs program here. Um, it's Operation Second Chance. Got my little buddy here. He definitely keeps me happy at times, you know, I mean, sometimes, I mean, being in jail, you know, you can't have a good day every day, but you could be in the worst of moods and come out here and see these goofy animals playing around with each other, and it's hard to stay in a bad mood when you're around all these dogs. He loves to play with his ball. He's uh, definitely ball motivated, and uh, he's, he's, treat mo he's treat motivated also, like a lot of the dogs out here. Right now, uh, or who's over there? He's going after one of the other dogs, Malachi. That's his little buddy. He likes to play with the smaller dogs a lot. But working with the dogs has definitely uh, helped me become a lot more patient, um, especially with Petey here because he's got sh such a short attention span. I mean, you definitely have a lot more time to work with the dogs in a place like this as opposed to if I was outside trying to, tr trying to train my dog at the house. You know, you get you're a lot more prone to get frustrated and walk away and you say, "Oh, well, I'll do it later," and then. Before you know it, they're out of control and you don't have as much of a handle on them as you would if you were sitting here working with them eight hours a day. It can be hard to stay in a bad mood here, especially being around all these crazy dogs. You know, you can have a visitation, get some bad news, or go to a court, court date and come back and you're in a bad mood or whatever, but you come outside and you get around all these dogs and see them playing and stuff and they just kind of remind you that it could be a lot worse, you know? You could be sitting in a cell for 23 hours a day or you could be here with the dogs outside, getting fresh air, playing with your buddies, teaching them tricks, you know. So, where are you going, buddy? Come back here.
Get your buddy. <laughs> a, a little cheap motivated. Get Mally. This? Oh, look at that face. Oh, he's adorable. I mean, he is absolutely adorable. Get B, look at what I'm doing, B. Go, 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 go. I've gotten into reading more lately, uh, but mainly I write. B. And I just started recently journaling on my progress and my thoughts and feelings about the program. Well, the day's now over. B's in his kennel, rolling around making little piggy noises, and I'm on my bunk. The happiness B gives me is incredible. To think that someone left this dog to die of starvation, alone, locked in an abandoned house, fills me with pain. People can be so evil. I am so proud to be a part of the system of angels that saved B's life. It's amazing how these dogs can make us want to change our lives. To find out how working in love for others feels has made me wish to pursue such endeavors wherever I can find them. It's been a good day in the dog pod.